Hello and welcome friend, my name is Annika. Today I'm coloring this little lady and she is from one of my daily sketches pages and I really liked how she turned out and I wanted to color her with Copics. But instead of inking with my pencil pocket brush as I usually do, I decided that I wanted the line art to be a little lighter, I didn't want black. So I mixed paints, grey and sepia, the acrylic inks, to get something that is a little bit lighter and I used a brush to do the line art. So I haven't been using a brush to ink with uh, since Inktober last year and it did feel a little bit awkward and uh, some of the lines just is a little too uneven and uh, on the arms I messed up and had to kind of save it the best I could but I think it turned out okay at least. I did uh, have to let the ink dry overnight so that it wouldn't smudge uh, when I started using the Copics, but it kind of smudged a little bit in some places, so I had to be a little bit careful when I uh, put down the colors. I really didn't know what kind of colors I wanted, so I, but I knew that I wanted the hair to be dark. And I kind of decided that I wanted to try to do some kind of skin color, which I normally don't do on these characters, but I think it paid off. But yeah, I didn't know except that I wanted dark hair uh, and I kind of wanted a pink dress. But as you can see in, in the first color thumbnail I did, it really don't look that good together. Maybe I could have worked with it, but yeah, I decided to pick a few other in the same family, kind of. <laughs> And uh, I really liked the way that they looked, but I didn't really like the whole triangle in the background. I just didn't know how to do that. So I decided that I wanted a circle instead. And in the beginning it, there was were just one circle, but you can see me adding the second circle in the video. Because sometimes you, that's the way the uh, painting evolves. You see things while you're working on it that might improve it. And, uh, and in, the, in the color thumbnail you saw that I did have the second circle in, but I tried it out on th that one before I did it on the big picture. So that's also good. You can uh, use the little thumbnail to see while you're working if the changes you're thinking about adding would look good. So that's one way you can do it, at least think about it. Or you could always do another thumbnail so that you can compare. But yeah, that is a little bit on how I thought about that. As I mentioned, I did want dark hair, but I also knew that I wanted some golden touches with the Sakura Jelly Roll in the end. And that's why I added a base layer with Y28. It's a Lionette Gold. And that will became my base for the hair because I wanted some of the gold to show, show through and I also added it, added it on the necklace. Yeah, I don't really know what else I could tell you right now about the picture. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening in my life. So if you have been watching my videos, you might know that me and my boyfriend are moving into another apartment and we have finally found out when we get a key and we will be getting it the 1st September, uh, which is a Tuesday and my boyfriend works so we won't be able to move the big stuff until Friday next week, but that will be fine, uh, I think. So just a heads up. We haven't really decided on our whole internet connection thing yet because we want to look into what kind of options we have. They're a little bit limited, so yeah, <laughs> I don't really know how often I can upload in the coming weeks. Uh, next week video is going to be a sketchbook video, it's the sketches from May and I hope you will like that. And um, that's just waiting to be exported and I will be uploading it and scheduling it to go live sometime at the end of next week. And if I'm lucky I can manage to film another video that I can edit and upload to go up the following week. So of that there might be a little gap between videos. I will be continuing making them. But if there's a gap you will know why, so don't be worried. I will be back because I can't live without the internet too long. 
so we will fix it. Before we go, I just wanted to mention that I really like the way the white jelly roll pen looks on the picture. I really think it made both the hair and the dress pop. And I also like the way a gold jelly roll looks, even though it doesn't pick up on camera all that well. Uh, I think it do add a nice touch to the picture. I didn't use that many colored pencils for this one as I no normally do on my Copic drawings, but I did use a few. I kind of like the end result and uh, I really hope you do too. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Love you guys. Hey, though.